Hi guys! Thank you all so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Love Anastasia, if you are new, and welcome back if you are a subscriber. Today's video is a get it all done video. I'm going to clean my entire house over the course of two days, catch up on a lot of laundry, cook dinner, and do a little bit more fall decorating. I hope you guys enjoy this video and that it gives you plenty of cozy vibes or cleaning motivation. If you do find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I did a little bit more fall decor shopping. I got that set of towels at TJ Maxx. I got this dish utensil holder also at TJ Maxx and it's just like the one that we have year round except that it's in a more fall color so I'll swap it out. I got this pumpkin at TJ Maxx and this was actually the item that I thought I would return but that's actually somehow the one that I am most certain I'll keep. I got this little trio at Target and I think I might return them because I could not really find a spot for them but it just depends on how lazy I am. I got this set of string lights. You may remember from my fall decorate video, I mentioned that there was something I wanted to give a light feature. I got this really cute mug at TJ Maxx and I was so happy when I found it because I had a really hard time finding really cute fall mugs. I got these cookie cutters and I'm honestly not sure why because I don't bake cookies. I can make elaborate French cakes, but I cannot make cookies to save my life. And I also got this set of pillows at TJ Maxx and I was beyond excited when I found it because it was neutral, it matched the table runner, and I loved the colors. This is the first day of cleaning. I had two days off and I spent most of it just cleaning the house like crazy. I'm honestly not really sure what came over me. But the very first thing that I'm going to do is put my new fall mug in its spot and then I'm going to make a pot of coffee for the day ahead. Once I relaxed a little bit because, like I said, this was my day off so I had a very lazy morning, I started a load of our bed sheets with a Kirkland pod and whenever I wash bed sheets I always set it to extra rinse so it does take a really long time for the bed sheets to be finished. Once that was done, all I had left to do in the bedroom was vacuum. I'm not going to clean too much in here because it was already pretty clean and Honestly, besides bed sheets and vacuuming, there isn't a whole lot to do in the bedroom unless I want to dust everything. And now I'm moving on to our main bathroom. I actually did begin to clean a little bit before I remembered that I was supposed to be filming. So that's why you saw that the bathroom mats were gone and things were a little more cluttered than usual. Whenever I clean the bathroom, I always start with the toilet just to get the worst part over with. I'm cleaning the outside of the toilet using the Clorox bathroom bleach cleaner, and then I'm going to clean the inside of the toilet using the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. And I always just let it sit inside of the toilet for a few minutes while I continue cleaning just to make sure that the product can really do its magic. Moving on to the mirror and the vanity, I am cleaning the mirror using the spray away glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth and then I am going to clean the vanity using the Clorox all purpose cleaner. 
In case you are new to my channel, I always show what products I use, and I have just about every single product listed in the description box. I have not cleaned our bathtub in quite some time, so first I clean it with the Clorox all-purpose cleaner and then I go over it with a magic eraser. I personally find that the magic eraser is the best thing to use if you want to get rid of some of the soap scum, any watermarks, so that's why I use the magic eraser and I'm just using Clorox before I use the magic eraser to sanitize and disinfect everything. Off camera, I cleaned the litter box that we have in the main bathroom and once that was done, I begin very carefully vacuuming the floor. If you would like even more bathroom cleaning motivation, I have my summer deep clean and sanitize video listed in the card above and I'll also have it linked in the description box. Once I finish vacuuming, I spray the floors with the Bona Hard Surface Floor Cleaner and then I steam off the floors. And once everything is clean, I hang up some fresh bath towels, fresh hand towels, and after that, the main bathroom is all done. And of course, no room is truly clean until a candle is lit. At this point, the bed sheets were finally done washing, so I moved them into the dryer, and now I am beginning a load of bath mats with a Kirkland pod and the Lysol laundry sanitizer.
After I cleaned the bathroom, I did stop cleaning for the day. I do start one more load of laundry before I call it a night though. I'm going to run a load of delicates and since I'm going to run it on the delicate cycle, I'm washing it with a Kirkland pod and of course the Lysol laundry sanitizer. Con made me laugh so hard right around here. As you can see, I was about to begin making the bed. Our bed sheets were fresh out of the dryer, and Con decided that it was biscuit making time, and of course, we can't interrupt the biscuit process. So we didn't make the bed until way later that evening. This was the following morning. I had another load of laundry set up in there from the night before, so I tossed in two Kirkland pots because it was a rather large load, and then I began cleaning the kitchen. Before I start doing too much, I am going to replace the towel that we dry some of our hand wash only dishes on. Luckily that morning, Michael had already unloaded the dishwasher, so there wasn't too much for me to do in here, mostly just finish loading a few dishes, hand wash a few dishes, and then after that I'll move on to cleaning the sink. I was about to begin cleaning the sink, but there was a pretty bad smell around the sink area, so I am cleaning the garbage disposal using the Lemmy Shine garbage disposal cleaner. Cleaning the garbage disposal with the Lemmy Shine product usually takes 3 to 4 minutes. And once that was done, I finished cleaning the sink with the Dawn Power Wash Spray and a Scrub Daddy. Then I move on to cleaning our stove top. First I just brush off the crumbs and then I clean it again using the Dawn Power Wash Spray and a Scrub Daddy. Normally I like to follow up with the Wyman Stove Top Cleaner, but on this day I wasn't because I was about to cook lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. And then as you saw earlier, I removed that red dish holder and I am replacing it with this orange one for fall. And of course, whenever I quickly clean the kitchen, I like to hang up some fresh towels. I usually switch out our hand towels and the towels that dishes dry on about every three to four days. So that's what I'm doing here. And I love having lots of really cute seasonal towels. I just really enjoy changing them out because during the spring and summer, I generally only use the gray ones that you may have seen in earlier videos, so it's just a lot of fun to be able to have something fresh and different and a little goofy. It was 91 degrees outside while I was filming, but I really didn't care. This is a fall inspired get it all done, so we're going to make chicken noodle soup. I'm not following a recipe, this is just my own dish, and I'm pretty terrible at explaining to people what my recipes are because I never use the exact same recipe. I eyeball everything, I change up my recipes depending on my mood, but with this dish, it's usually pretty standard across the board. 
I usually make the broth a day or two in advance with the chicken cooked in it. Then I am going to cut up an onion and then later I'll saute it. Then I cut up some carrots, usually three to four depending on the size of the carrots. And the only other ingredients in this soup are some noodles and I just use whichever noodles I feel like using on that day and a whole bunch of garlic. And that's it, my recipe is really simple. Whenever I cook, I almost always cut an extra carrot and that's because I snack on them non-stop when I cook. If Michael is cooking something that involves carrots, he'll just kick me out of the kitchen because he keeps catching me snacking on the carrots that he's prepared for his dish. Now I'm going to saute up the onions. I add a ton of salt and pepper and then while I'm sauteing them for about 8 to 10 minutes, I toss the carrots in. And once the onions are done, I'll toss them in, then I'll usually add the chicken, and once the water is boiling, I'll add the noodles, and then I cook for about another 10 to 15 minutes depending on the type of noodles used. And I always add garlic during the last two minutes to make sure that you can really taste that garlic in there. Now I am moving on to the half bath. Overall it isn't too bad. The main problem we have with this room constantly is just the cat litter. That is the cat's preferred litter box. As you can see I always need to clean that mirror because there are splatter marks from the cats on there all the time. I begin sweeping the floor and as I sweep the floor I realize that I forgot to clean the litter box. So I pause momentarily to clean the litter box. And I used this spray in our litter box. If you want to hear more about it, I have a review video. And once the litter box is clean, I continue sweeping the floor in the half bath and in the kitchen. So I do apologize for how chaotic the next few minutes of this video is. I decided to keep filming the entire day and just take you guys along the day with me. So right around this time, Michael came home and he brought home some groceries. And of course, you want to put the bags on the counter, but on the counter, I had a few things lined up that I wanted to wash. So I washed those dishes. Then I start unloading the groceries, but I noticed that our snack cupboard was pretty messy. There were some expired bags of chips in there, so I go through it. And as I was going through it, I noticed there were crumbs in there. So of course, I decided to vacuum them up. And once that is clean, then I continue to unload the groceries. Now that that distraction is taken care of, I continue cleaning our half bath. I clean the toilet using the Clorox 
multi-purpose cleaner and I'm not using the bathroom bleach because I have that upstairs and I was too lazy to go all the way upstairs and then I clean the toilet using the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner I move on to our trash can and I'm just going over it with the Clorox all-purpose cleaner and then I move on to cleaning the vanity again still using the Clorox cleaner and I clean the glass using the spray away glass cleaner After the Lysol cleaner sat in the toilet for a few minutes, I finished cleaning it using a scrubbing bubbles dish wand. And now that the bathroom and the kitchen are clean, I am going over the floors with my steam mop and of course, I first sprayed the floors using the Bona hard surface floor cleaner. I thought I would just show a little bit of reality living with cats. One of our cats recently started scratching at our toilet paper. We think that it's Khan because we generally lock him in the downstairs bathroom while he eats. Otherwise, he kind of bullies Boudica. And now I am continuing steam mopping the floor and I did not notice this until editing, but I see what looks like garlic underneath our coffee bar. Not sure what happened to my camera right there, but that is the dirty side of the steam mop after I finished steam mopping the kitchen and the half bath. I don't know how it got that dirty because I thought I cleaned in here really recently, but because that steam mop was so disgusting, I went over the kitchen and the half bath a second time. I am taking a short break from cleaning by folding that load of laundry that I started earlier in the day.
comment down below to let me know what is your least favorite thing to fold. Hands down, mine are socks. I hate folding socks. And at this point I am almost done cleaning so I start a load of the microfiber cloths and some fridge liners with a Kirkland pod and Lysol laundry sanitizer. Now I am moving on to the living room. I'm not going to do too much cleaning in here because it isn't necessary. I did recently clean in here. Mostly we just need to tidy things up. And right around here, I had the Lula Rich documentary on Amazon, and my god, I recommend this so much. I could not stop watching it. I marathoned all four episodes in the same night. Michael and I actually had plans to watch a horror movie that night, but while I was cleaning, I just got so addicted to this, and that's all I watched for the rest of the night. I could not stop watching it. Besides a little bit of tidying up, I do do a little bit more fall decorating in here. I add that big pumpkin that I got from TJ Maxx onto this shelf. I'm not entirely sure how our living room got so cluttered and messy because I did clean in here a few days ago. But as I said, I'm not doing a lot of cleaning in here, mostly just dealing with all the clutter. I think most of the clutter is just because the last few days we've gotten a lot of junk mail and we had a few packages come in that we never dealt with. As always, our coffee table had a few crumbs on it, so I just gathered them up. Then I cleaned the glass portion with the spray away glass cleaner, and I cleaned the sides of our coffee table using the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. The last thing that I'm going to do in the living room is clean the couches using the Wyman leather conditioning wipes. If you're still here, that means that you enjoyed this video, so be sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you still have not subscribed to my channel. If you want even more cozy fall, cat, or cleaning motivation, be sure to follow me on my Instagram at cleanwithloveanastasia. And if you would like to watch even more of my cozy fall videos, be sure to check out these two videos linked right here.